what's up welcome back to another vlog got my blue magic half cauliflower thank you so much guys this was great thank you. oh yes have a good rest of your day i'm eating my potatoes and green beans that i made all week just re reheating them it's so nice when you just have like food ready in the fridge because otherwise i'm like so tempted to make a bad choice or something this is revolutionary for me bit of a busy afternoon i have been sitting here i just did some editing well, first, I just got off of some calls. I have another call in a little bit. Editing in between. Yeah, I feel like it's a computer stuff kind of day. It's finally nice weather outside though, which is lovely. I am just so happy to be back here with you guys for another vlog today. We're gonna spend some days together in New York. What a beautiful day. Another call done. Now I'm actually setting up for a branded shoot that I'm doing for Macy's. It's actually on the Gals on the Go podcast page that we're posting them but we're doing like a little home feature, I guess, like for like their fall items. I picked out some items and I'm gonna set up like a little cheese board scene. And then of course I get to the cheese, which is exciting to me. A little like BTS moment. I never like to do anything like too staged or anything just cause it's like inauthentic to me, but you guys know I love a good cheese board moment. So I was like, this is perfect, really nice. And I want to use the natural lighting. So I feel like I need to shoot it kind of when it's like sunny outside. But I got some good stuff for this. We have like some napkins. I got this like ball pillow that I'm just excited to have in my apartment. That is what we're doing right now. I just cleaned the table, wiped it down, did a little vacuuming, etc. I did like my spring cleaning. I need to do like fall cleaning. I might have ordered some furniture pieces last night <laughs> because I was like freaking out about my apartment. I was just like, what are we doing here? In the works of getting a new rug. It's cute. I'm also just wearing, these are like my favorite pants right now. I'm obsessed. They're the Lululemon Align flare, so good. And then I wanted to like look presentable on top, so I wore this J. Crew sweater, but now I'm sweating in it because it's cashmere. And cashmere really locks in that heat, baby. It, I am like an oven in here. Had a good workout this morning. Went to Soul Cycle with Adam. I do just feel like I'm in a good little routine of life right now in terms of like taking care of myself. Obviously, I'm like fully back into fitness. I've been, I guess, kind of like focusing more on that like area of my life, like the self-care of it all I guess but it really does pay off like I feel like I do have more energy you could be working you could be spending time with friends and family you could be watching tv you would think things would suffer but I feel like things actually for me start to like elevate even though I'm spending the time doing that I don't know this <laughs> This is kind of woo-woo, but if you follow, you follow. It just also puts me in like such a better headspace. I just noticed these past few days have been so much better because I've been in my rhythm of working out and feeling good. I had to change, I was sweating so much. This is the cutest little cheese board, I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna make a little cheese board. This is so fun, I feel like I'm like food styling. I landed actually on food styling TikTok. I kind of knew some of the tricks of the trade because my mom works in food. Food styling is insane. Like in commercials when they show whipped cream, it's actually shaving cream because they need it to be like temperature sensitive also i just realized that my self-tan is so blotchy and bad just ignore that i saw something about like chocolate chips that they like heat them up in their hand to like make them look more chocolatey and like appealing we're not doing much food styling today this is uh the brook michio food styling how cute are these glasses though also from macy's adorable glass pumpkins from macy's I like where this is going i didn't show you guys the final scene but this was it i'm just eating the cheese now a little snack but i got a shot of me like making the board so i feel like that's good and just like the fall scene in general. I mean, yeah. I'm at Ben's now having dinner. He made this amazing butternut squash gnocchi the other night, so we're having it again, and salads and stuff. It's all really good, so I'll show you guys. Wow. Well, you could top it with pumpkin seeds, which is really pepitas, grated right? cheese on top. It's so good. Thanks, Ben. Good morning. We're back in the car, and I'm going home from Brooklyn. Had a wonderful night. You guys saw Ben made a delicious dinner. Got a um, hot almond milk latte with a few pumps of vanilla from, there's a coffee shop that I really like that's by Ben's apartment. Getting back is always a journey. There's always like a lot of traffic and stuff, but it is, it's worth it. It's worth it. I feel very lucky to like even have the car. And we have a really fun day planned today. I'm getting my eyebrows done at 11 o'clock at a new place, a place that's like quite expensive, but they're supposed to be like masters in your eyebrows. My eyebrows have been seriously struggling, so it was actually Kat's recommendation, uh, our makeup artist, Cam Artistry on Instagram. Um, she's great. So I literally trust her with whatever she says. We have brunch with a fashion pass. Then we're recording the podcast. And then we have like more stuff, more work stuff later. Should be a good day. So this is the fit now for the fashion pass brunch, but I'm going to get my eyebrows done before, which could be a tragic mistake because like, what if it messes up my makeup? But I did bring a little touch up. 
I kind of went in on the makeup because we're recording the podcast after and I was like, let me just go hard. And I'm wearing my hair up. This is probably the first time ever that I'm wearing my hair up to an event and like slicked back. But I did a little bun in the back and I, I think it looks pretty good. Slick down the front again, just using this brush from Amazon. Um, I, it's just like rainy and gross. Well, it's not rainy actually. It's just kind of like gross out and I just feel like this matched the vibe of the dress. This is from Ronnie Kobo, but it's rented from Fashion Pass. I have to figure out, I think I'm just gonna wear boots and like a bigger coat to kind of go with this vibe. But yeah, hair up, never do this. Probably gonna regret it, but it's fine. But I kind of went in on my makeup. I went in with a heavy hand. It always looks better when I do that for the camera that we record on. I always forget how like HD it is. Cause you know, I vlog and I'm like, oh, like it's, my camera's pretty good quality, whatever. But then we record on those cameras in the podcast studio and I'm like, Oh my gosh, you can see every pore, you see the sweat, whatever. So I packed some touch-ups, but let's go get our eyebrows done. I'm excited. I've been wanting to go to like a nice place and really get them shaping because they are just a mess. I have nothing on them right now and they need help. They've been struggling. Ignore my messy apartment. The trench is J. Crew. Uh, boots are Vince Camuto and I kind of like the look all put together. All right, he shaped my brows and filled them in and I'm happy with them. I think they like fit my face better now. What do you guys think? Right, now we have a pleasant walk through West Village as we go to this brunch. I'm happy with them. I didn't want any like laminating or tinting or anything really. I just kind of like my natural brow. I just needed a little, she needed a little bit of shaping. I had Joey Healy do my brows. He showed me like how to fill them in a little bit better. I bought some product, you know, I got influenced, whatever. Carrie's house from Sex and the City. It's like, you know, everybody walks by, but someone actually lives there. I want to show you guys the teamwork that makes the dream work, baby. This is collaboration at its finest. <laughs> Got Danielle behind the camera and Katie. Danielle just ducked behind Katie's ear. <laughs> I did it in slow motion too. Or something that taking my hair out from the slick back. Wow, guys, everyone was so nice about it today. Um, I'm not gonna wash it though because I'm gonna go to Soul Cycle tomorrow morning, but wow, everybody was so nice on the internet today. Look at the state of my apartment. I just have shit everywhere. Guess who just got completely sucked into watching The Golden Bachelor? This girl. <laughs> no, I, I planned on watching it, but then I was like on the couch and um, I was like, all right, this is what I'm doing. But I did shower and change. I have a box of clothes here um, from Free People that I got. So I've been like kind of going through that, tidying up, but I really wanted to put in some crest white strips. A little glow up moment. I feel like it's time to do another round of those. Little wins, but I did clean up this area. I'm sick and tired. I just use this under my TV area as like a kind of like a catch all just to collect clutter just cause it's like right here when you walk into my apartment, like it's easy, to, it's like a surface. I have some fall stuff on there, whatever. You know, it is what it is. Not only did I get sucked into watching Golden Bachelor, but now right after it is Bachelor in Paradise. I haven't watched the past few seasons. So honestly, I don't even know who these people are, most of them. So like, yeah, not a clue who most of them are, but I'm watching it, so. I do like the Bachelor shows. I just like haven't been into them in a while. I'm gonna use these Express Whitening. One hour Express, use once a day for one hour. You're supposed to use the entire kit, but like, I'm just gonna start using them the next few days when I hopefully remember. Super easy. I think I have these linked on my Amazon shop too. This is just always what I used to whiten my teeth. I was watching Taylor Wynn's video and she did like a face mask and was whitening her teeth. This was like the other day and I was like, I need to have a night where I start the teeth whitening again. Not like that. But I've just been having a, a cozy night. These shows are only one hour. I thought that they were two hours each. Did they change the time of them? Looking good. We're here, we're whitening. I'm sitting on the edge of my shower. I don't think I've ever done this position, but I kind of like it. I moisturized after I got out of the shower. I'm going to do this uh, Paula's Choice Liquid Exfoliant. I do really like this on my skin. I probably use it every day, maybe every other day. I do really like this. I feel like it is good for acne. It's like a toner, I guess, right? Well, it's a liquid exfoliant. That's, it definitely is what it is. It says that it helps even skin tone. I feel like I do notice that. And it doesn't like burn my skin or like leave it feeling like stripped. That's the big thing in the winter with skincare. I feel like so many of my products are so stripping and leave my skin feeling so dry and like worn out. So I need to like pump in the moisture and use extra moisturizing stuff. But this I don't feel, I mean it does strip but I don't feel like it leaves my skin feeling like that flaky dry feeling. My brows are looking pretty good. Happy that I finally went and did that. <laughs> currently 
downpouring. So it doesn't look like we'll be leaving the house today. Danielle is coming here and we're gonna get some work done later um, on the live shows. Sorry for the sirens. It's just, it's a loud morning and I'm chilly. Is it time to break out the space heater? What I can do is turn off my fan. All right, I'm leaning in. If we're having this cozy stay at home day, I am gonna be somewhat cute. I don't know if I like this shirt with the sweatpants. I might change. This is from Free People, but I was like, let me just put my hair back in another slick back because it still is kind of like sticky from yesterday. We're gonna finish my book this morning and then we'll get some work done. I came to the realization that I don't have bobby pins, not that I've ever like gone to use them, but that's what would be like practical with these buns, right? Instead, I'm just using a, a clear elastic and get a like twist. Wow, my hair girly now. Using a little more. These two, I have these linked on my Amazon shop, this brush, I don't know, just something about it. It's so smoothing, like it gets all of the bumps down. So I put on this shirt, these sweatpants. I don't think I like this shirt though. Let's find a different shirt. This is from Nudes. This is the perfect kind of day for some self tanning drops. Mix them in this moisturizer that I've been loving. Good collection. There's a break in the rain. It's still raining, but it's lighter. So I decided I'm gonna make a run for it. Layered up. Let's go to Duncan. We got the coffee. Danielle's coming over later, so I got a box of donuts so that we can have a little midday fuel. Cheers. Iced coffee with almond milk, one pump of vanilla, one pump of pumpkin. I honestly struggle with finding sweatpants that are like the proper length on me. Not even, I don't even think I have like that long of legs, but I just feel like so many sweatpants are like, especially if they're joggers, they go up to like my ankles. But these are nice because they're flared. I got them in the Hamptons this summer at the Mad Happy like pop-up. And they're so long that even when I rolled them up, they got a little wet on the ends. Just a little. I feel like a middle schooler doing like the quadruple roll. Because you guys remember with like the Sophie shorts when we would do this. Don't forget to use your coasters. I spent a good chunk of last weekend researching cameras and specifically vlog cameras that are the best on the go. Like a tiny portable one. Mine is... A little bit bigger, I can insert a picture of it here. It's the uh, Canon M6 camera. And then I have like a, a lens that's like a wider lens. That's why you guys can like go so wide. Overall, it's a great camera. I also have an external mic, so that's why I feel like other YouTubers have this camera. Not everybody's sound is the same. Not that my sound is like exceptional, but I feel like it's, it's a good setup, like what I have. And I'm really happy with it. But I feel like on the go, I'm not as inclined to use this camera because it is a little bit bulkier. And by the time, like it's just, it doesn't fit in every purse I have. If I want like a casual shot, this is like a big camera. So if I'm taking it out in like a store or something, it's just like this girl's filming, this girl's taking pictures. Even got in trouble for taking pictures and stuff in stores before. Some places are just like, can you not film in here? On a phone or like on a smaller camera, it's just like more discreet. So I did some research. I was like, I want like the best quality vlog camera that's small. And I'm digging around. Everyone that's small has a problem. There's this Go 3, what is this called? Insta360 Go 3. I've seen a lot of like YouTubers use this, especially travel YouTubers. It's like the modern day GoPro, even though GoPro is still like a brand, but I feel like this is even more popular. Price point, it, it's good for like a camera, but apparently the audio is terrible, especially for vlogging. And that's like, you, you know what I need, I'm talking to the camera not necessarily just filming like travel b-roll footage. And then there are like tinier cameras, like there's the uh, Canon G7X, which is what I used to film on like a few years ago, but it doesn't get a really wide shot. It's like super close to your face. Basically what I'm learning is that the iPhone is the best bet, especially when you do the 0.5 and like flip it and hold it kind of like this so that the screen is facing the other way. I mean, you could vlog, like I definitely will vlog on the selfie camera, but I feel like it's better with these ones. Unless you guys have any um, other suggestions, please let me know if you do, if you are like a YouTuber or whatever. It's like I've been doing this for so long and I did literally so much research. I was just going like article by article and you know, every brand has their like version of a vlog camera, it seems like. You know, there's like the Canon ones, there's the Nikon. Basically the conclusion is you just gotta carry around like a big ass camera, I guess if you want the best quality. I will continue to do it. I don't even think Danielle's coming over today because it is like this terrible weather. It seems like everybody's staying home today. There's literally flash flood warnings. So I think we're just going to do all of our work. We can do it remotely anyways, but now I have six donuts. So I'm like, mm. I'm gonna bring them to my doorman though, I think. I think he would appreciate that. I literally like three nights ago, panic ordered a new bar cart sort of situation, but it's not a bar cart. It's more like a cabinet. I am honestly not even in my drinking era. Like I don't drink a lot, but this is what I look at 
just so you know and it's just in the background of everything i love having you know great tools whatever for when i do entertain but like why am i just sitting here staring at bottles of liquor when like i don't even know the last time when i actually drank out of one of these bottles it just it's not my journey anymore but i don't want to like just get rid of everything because i have all of this great like hosting stuff so i decided to order this like bar cabinet and basically i could just use it as a regular cabinet too it's just like more storage now the only thing is i I have to put it together. I knew that I would have to and I read like, you know, assembly required and stuff, but it's always like jarring when it comes to your house in the boxes because you're like, damn, I really have to put this together. And I am not sure if I'm gonna be able to do this on my own. You know, I consider myself a strong independent woman, but like it came in these big boxes. That is what it will look like. I'm trying not to buy too much crazy furniture with the idea that like I'll be moving next year most likely I would maybe like want to invest more in the next space a new couch like there's just other things that like I want but I was like all right I don't want to spend that much money and do like a complete overhaul what are like the small things I can do so we'll see this thing is going to take me three hours I'm not gonna be able to do that it's from West Elm by the way a few moments later yeah it appears as though it's pretty complex so we're not gonna be doing that today I didn't realize it would even come so soon I'm honestly shocked I could also like hire a task rabbit not today but like another day Maybe I'll look into that. I'm gonna look into that to see how expensive that is. But I am excited about it. I mean, I think it's gonna be a little like big for the space, but like I said, I feel like this is a piece that like I'll have and I'll be able to like use in, you know, my home and whatever. Like what it will look like. It says bar cabinet, but I think that the inside it's just shelves. You could use it like for other things too. I have had this gorgeous candle from Nest Burning and it smells so good. It's the pumpkin chai. Need you to know, I just got out of the shower. I was like, oh my God, my, my apartment smells like a coffee shop. And my gals on the go Brooklyn and bundle. Just took a shower. I slapped on a layer of self tan really, really quick, but I'm not sure if I left it on for long enough, honestly, but it's fine. It's fine. This is my favorite like weekender bag that I've been using for the past few months. Whenever I pack to go to Ben's or really go away for the weekend, I would say with the except like obviously I would switch to a bigger suitcase like if I really needed the space. But really, yeah, if I'm spending the night at Ben's, I, I bring this bag because it fits my computer, everything. It's from Dagny Dover. I have a ton of stuff in here right now. I have outfits, many outfits, an outfit for a concert tomorrow, just like jeans and a shirt, leggings, sports bra, sweatshirt, boots. I have like this pair of Vince Camuto boots in here. Good stuff. Yeah, because I'm packing to, I have an engagement party on Long Island tomorrow. And then I'm coming back and going to a concert at night, but I'm gonna go to Brooklyn tonight. So I really am just like stuffing stuff in this bag, but it really does fit a lot and it zips up. I mean, it's definitely like heavy on my arm, but like, it's nice. It's a good size. One of my favorite sets from Free People, I just rediscovered in my closet. I was like digging around in there looking for sweats today. I was like, oh, I haven't worn this in the longest time and I love it. I'm gonna head to Brooklyn in a bit, but I'm waiting for the traffic to die down. So I'm going to read and hopefully finish this book so I can give you guys a review. Cause I've been, a little stuck on it i am enjoying it but at the same time i like don't have the urge to pick it up i feel like it's a good story but i'm not like i need to know what's happening tom lake by ann patchett but we'll see maybe the ending will throw me through a loop or something i've probably been reading it for like a week but that's a lot because i am trying my goal was to read 50 books this year i don't know if i'm gonna do it i have to check what i'm at i save them always to my highlight on my instagram um, I just have a books highlight and I do like mini reviews on there. I don't do Goodreads. Um, I don't do any of those. I like made a Goodreads forever ago, but then I made my account private. I don't even update it for myself. I hate the interface. I cannot stand it. The books tab on Instagram is it for me. I've read 33 so far. It's not like I'm going to like purposely try to like read shorter books or something to like get to the goal. Like I'm just, you know, if I don't hit it, I don't hit it. But like that was a pretty good goal. 50. So there is a pop-up pizzeria in Brooklyn. That's what we got for dinner. It's called Wizard Hat and you order it online. It's like literally just a kitchen. So just picked it up. Wow, looks so good and smells so good. the same outfit as yesterday yes home for literally 0.5 seconds i'm just gonna go upstairs and like change and get ready and stuff because i have an engagement party today um on long island one of my friends from high school congrats danielle and mike <laughs> i'm putting together the gift now i got her a ring holder like a ring dish like one of these crystal ones i don't want to open it up i spoke to ben's sister who is also like 
newly engaged, I guess, a few months. And we were talking about like good gift ideas for like newly engaged people and she gave me literally like the best advice ever and gave me a bunch of ideas for friends. So this was one of them. There were some other things that were like engraved towels with like the new initial of the last name if you know if they're taking that last name. This is obviously a gift more for like the bride. Let me know if you guys would want to see a list of like engagement gift ideas. I thought about this and I'm thinking that maybe I can make a post on my LTK of like what I've been giving to my friends is like engagement type of gifts because I feel like that's typically before the registry is created because it's like pretty soon after the actual engagement and then you can like go from the registry for like the bridal shower and then the wedding you can do i don't know i feel like i've been doing like checks for the wedding let me know if you'd be interested in that because i feel like a lot of us are entering that phase of our life if you're not already there i know i am had this engagement party another one two weeks ago and i am thinking of a bunch more that i have coming up i feel like i just have a lot of like newly engaged friends or people that are like literally about to get engaged and i'm trying to think of creative gift ideas Hard. I accidentally shipped my recent Abercrombie order here, but this is perfect because I believe I will be wearing this today if it fits. I'll slip this on right now. I ordered a denim skirt. So I feel like they're still in. And for a while I was like, I refuse, I refuse, but I've seen them styled in such a good way with like tall boots for fall with like a sweater. It's like a cute cozy look. So let's see. I don't think I'm gonna try on everything, but look at this skirt. Fits so nice. Could have probably gotten a size down if I really wanted it to be like super fit in the waist, but I have a little bit of breathing room this way. I got a size 28 for reference, and I feel like that's probably the normal size I wear in Abercrombie jeans. But I really like the length. I just threw on the sweater because I had it in my closet at home. I'm trying to show you guys like to the bottom. It's cute with the slit, right? I'm gonna wear this sweater dress. It's cute. Let's try this on. Okay, so this is the sweater dress. Love. I got it in a size small, tall, so it's a little bit longer, purposefully. Uh, just added a few curls to my hair. I need to touch up my makeup and I think this is gonna be the look I'm wearing it with like boots because it's like indoor outdoor, but it's like 60 something degrees But I do really like the sweater dress if you guys are in the market for one It's quite nice and like I said, I like that It's like they have it in petite and tall so you can choose your length I feel like that's a big thing for a lot of people is like the length of these sort of longer dresses I feel like with Abercrombie dresses I generally size down. I would never normally be a small like that is not I don't know any other brand that I would be a small so yeah